Hey, it's Patrick, and let's talk about Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde mufflers. What we're looking at here is a set for Harley Davidson touring bikes. Specifically, these are CVO, but we're gonna have fitments for all M8 touring bikes, even for Sports Duress, Pan America, and a couple of BMW GS models. You may have noticed there's some extra things hanging off the, this exhaust, and that does make them special but what they're gonna come in at is about $3,000 a set. And that's a big number for a set of mufflers, but they legitimately do stuff that no other muffler on the market does, to my knowledge anyway. And they have a valve system in there that'll help you control a few things. That's where it's gonna get kind of pricey, but they are specifically made for M8s. And the reason I say that is because of these asymmetrical ends. So the typical M8 header pipe has the smaller pipe on one side and the bigger pipe on the other side where the twin cams don't. So you can't retroactively fit these to twin cams. These are just going to be for Milwaukee 8 when it comes to Harley Davidson touring fitment. This is a European company that claims it is German engineered and Dutch made. And what they've done is they've effectively put a valve system right here in the center of this. You have a really nice perf core baffle in there um, and a really nice big billet end cap, actually one of the nicer end caps that I've seen. These are available in chrome and black, but the real magic is in the middle with that valved system. So you're gonna set these up like normal mufflers, but then you'll run this cabling system and it'll eventually end in a button on your bars like this. And you're gonna have three different modes. So the quiet mode would be the Dr. Jekyll mode. That's the most closed. Then they have what they call a dynamic mode, which is the middle mode, and then Mr. Hyde, which is gonna be the most wide open. With the idea being you can control the DB levels of this while you're going down the road. So if you don't want it as loud when you're going through your neighborhood, you can do that. Or if you just don't want to hear the thing droning on and on and on and on while you're riding that day, you can quiet it down. Or if you want all the beans, you can open it right up. Now this is going to affect the performance of your motorcycle. Whenever you affect that airflow through there, it's going to affect the performance. So when this thing is closed all the way, you're not gonna get the most horsepower out of your bike. You might actually get a little bit better low end. It might actually feel a little snappier, but if you're gonna want all the beans, you gotta open that thing up to Mr. Hyde. So when you do open and close that valve with your button, you're gonna get that noise change, but you also are gonna get a little bit of performance change, which is pretty interesting. I've never seen an exhaust like this. Pretty cool stuff out of them. You are paying a premium for this, but if you want that adjustability, that's the price you're gonna have to pay. Now, if you're looking for more information on these, go ahead and click that info tab on your desktop or mobile device. That'll take you to the product detail page where you can read other writers' reviews and more specs about these mufflers. If you're still looking for more information, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about what works best for you, your motorcycle, and your budget. I am Patrick. Thank you for watching. Go work on those motorcycles.